I'm John Ludwig. I'm the uh, marketing manager on the Tyco RC product line, and um, doing the Star Take Trek. Take it through. Line. All right, so we've got the Star Trek Power Charger. So this is kind of the entry level. It's a twenty dollars price point. It's basically uh, a flying Enterprise with a quick charge mechanism. So you charge it up. It's not radio controlled. It's kind of just uh, powered, unguided flight. So you charge it up, let it go. It flies kind of in a big circle. Kind of a nice entry level for kids. It's like much. a glider. Glider, exactly. And that with, costs with motors. That's about twenty bucks for example. Two uh, spring two thousand nine. 2009. Then we have the same actual uh, mechanism, the Enterprise, and we have the, uh, the Klingon Bird of Prey. So both of those are in the assortment of actually the RC. So it uses the same actual airframe, but you then have RC gear that you attach to it. And now you can actually take it and make full function RC flights. So you can actually take it, fly it about 75 feet in the air, and uh, you know full control flight. Um, we've got some video of that we can show you that in, in flight. Right. Uh, then we have our Deluxe Enterprise. Our Deluxe Enterprise is uh, a $70 retail, and this is uh, this is a model of it. It's actually it's a, a foam, expanded foam, like most flying toys, um, with two motors on it, and it's, it's kind of the full uh, Enterprise design. This would be the, uh, the the refit, the Enterprise refit from the movie. Actually, sorry to get tri well, tricky in on you. That's what it's going to be. That's not what this exact one is. Well, so, well that's the refit. Th and that's what this one is going to be when it's when it's in production. Oh, I see. So you guys aren't going to do a classic? Class the classic does not fly as well as the refit. Fit, is what we found. <laughs> because so, of the sweat back. Exactly, the sweat back pods, exactly. So no, so the classic doesn't make it to the world of RC. Not yet, we're working on it. We're trying to get it, but, but for round one, it's going to be re refit as the... Uh, so this one and this one will kind of look the same. The same, except a 3D version and kind of more of a, of a right. 2D version. So then the control on this one is what's really cool. The control on this is actually, it's the communicator with sounds. You flip it open and you get the, the kind of authentic communicator sound. That, is that one working? Uh, I have a working one in there, which I, I have to get the to get that out. And then what's really cool about it is the first ever touch screen control RC. So you actually run your finger up and down the screen and left and right and that's actually your control of your uh, flying RC. So you're actually using your, it's kind of the iPod of, uh, of um, radio control. What, what, uh, what is the, um, what does the tricorder do? Tricorder is the charger. So you actually oh. you use that. You, I think you put a, I think it's four D batteries in that, and then it's your field charger that you have with you. So you charge this up. It takes about 15 minute charge. There's a uh, internal uh, lipo battery inside this. You charge it up about 15, 20 minutes, and then you can get about 15 minutes of flight out of it. So your tricorder is your charger, and then you've got your touch screen communicator controller. Now this is this packaging. How this is early packaging. We're still refining it with CBS, so working on it. And one more item. We have we walk around the corner. This is actual size. This is this actual is size. The giant flying Enterprise. This is a four foot Enterprise. It's going to be made again out of an expanded foam. It's got two high power motors on it and a high power lifting. Well, where's battery. the motor? The motors are right here. You can see there's motors here and here. So this will this will fly. It uses the same touchscreen controller. And now is this going to be charger. classic, or are you going to have to do this as refit? We believe it's going to be the refit. We're working on whether we can get classic fly, but it'll probably be the refit for this. Now, model. how much is this baby going to cost? This actually, we we have. Uh, Put together a deal that is most like it's going to be a Costco exclusive at $199 retail. Oh, you're going to sell a lot of these. <laughs> well, we're going to sell a limited number. We'll put it that way, so they'll go fast. Um, are there any lights on it that light up? There aren't any lights on it. Um, there will be a light on the communicator, but no lights actually on the Enterprise. Now, um, when when you guys announced your license in um, the trade show in June, it didn't specifically say whether you guys are going to cover just classic or you can also cover the movie era we the are, new movie we are going to do movie as well uh, on some of the items so on the on the 20 and the 40 dollar item we will be bringing in a movie enterprise as well into that and we are also actually working right now on a program to do a whole bunch of different ships possibly all of the enterprises and some of the enemy ships so uh, next generation so yeah enterprise d um, voyager all, all of them we're working on so wow. we're trying to do as many as we can we'll see I can't promise how many are going to get done and or how quickly that's going to happen, but we're trying to do a program right now with the retailer to actually do a whole bunch of the different ships. Now, all of this starts arriving spring, so you mentioned the movie thing. Would you expect these to show up before the movie stuff? They will most likely show up a little bit before the movie. Uh, we're trying to work out right now what the, the launch date is for all the different retailers. It could be as early as January um, and as late as April. So 
and the movie stuff would be as early as probably April. April would be when the movie stuff would start to hit shelves. Maybe right. You know, so it's for a May nine. And what retailers do you expect the non-exclusive stuff to be at? It will be Walmart, uh, Target, and Toys R Us uh, will be the main kind of the main supporters of it. For both the movie stuff and the classic stuff. The movie stuff and the classic stuff, and uh, it'll depend which some retailers will take more of one or less of the other, and they won't all carry necessarily all of them. But I would think the lower price point stuff will be the twenty and the forty dollar will probably be at those three major retailers.